Nation, the band Marduk has often granted a lot of people certain different opinions or certain different perceptions throughout their career. The earlier part of their career was a lot more raw in the realm of black metal, and ever since then they have kind of taken things. Still in the black metal pike, however, there has been a little bit more of the melodic fashion to it, and also there has been a lot of historical uh, articles in there as well, and uh, Serpent Sermon is a little bit different than that. Uh, with Serpent Sermon, you're not going to see as much of the the historical article, the obsession with uh, World War II that were perhaps seen in past episodes of the Mordok discography, such as uh, ROM 512 uh, or Panzer Division Marduk, just to name a couple. However, what you do get from these guys is, of course, their typical black metal assault here in 2012. The keynote difference that I really noticed with this album as I've compared it to some of the others is the fact that the variety is still there. The variety is certainly still there in leads, where you have the raw, the very naked, the very stripped down, the very right in your face, as aggressive as humanly possible, uh, black metal on some tracks. And then, of course, the interwoven melodic sides that, to be perfectly honest, I really, really love about this band. But you also see combinations of the two existing on uh, the same track, which is something that... With other albums, they were able to incorporate it somewhat. However, for the most part, they tried to associate each song with one relative strength as opposed to combining to the two uh, to create kind of a hybrid monster. There's a little bit more of the hybriding uh, on Serpent Sermon as opposed to some of the albums of the past. Now, what does this combination mean for a listener such as you and me, especially a listener like myself that perhaps favors one side toward the other? It actually is a pretty damn good hybrid process, not to mention it also means uh, a, a, an overall enjoyment that is certainly fantastic. It means for those of us that perhaps enjoyed that melodic side a lot more, uh, it's seeing it infused with that classic style, something that a lot of people may remember from their elder days, is actually a nice little history lesson. Now I myself am very familiar with Marduk's discography, and I know what their past has been, and I know what their present has been. So. It's not as though I was getting some sort of serious wake-up call to what their past was. Uh, however, the blending of these two articles, these two items, really creates a nice brew. It creates a nice little uh, caffeinated soda of black metal. Strangely enough, it's a cola, so it's also black. I, I really like this album and the fact that there's a really good pace to it. I think that this is an album that doesn't bog itself down with either one of the two uh, strengths that this band possesses. And believe me, both are strengths, ladies and gentlemen. The raw side is certainly a strength because it shows a trueness to the roots. However, the melodic side, the slower side, the more uh, down-tuned, almost uh, hypnotic side is also a strength because it just reels you in and it kind of, you know, immerses you. It, it, it swirls itself around you. It collapses itself onto you. And you are powerless to kind of break its hypnotic spell. So the combination of the two means that not only are you being lulled into the hypnosis of the melodic side, but you're also being steamrolled by the aggressive side without mercy. This is definitely a strong album by these guys. Now, I, of course, will always have my favorites, and for some strange reason, I always veer back to ROM 512, which has a couple of my favorite tracks of recent Marduk memory on them, uh, in Accuser, Opposer, and Imago Mortis. However, whenever you look at the overall body and whole of this record, it's one that just keeps getting better. It's one that actually keeps getting longer as the album progresses. The last two tracks on this album are the longest, the most epic Sonescapes that this album has to boast. I like this album. I really enjoyed it. I think a, a light 8.25 is a very fair score for this record. Uh, maybe even an 8.5. I think with repeated listens, this is going to be one that I'm going to be listening to uh, quite a bit, simply because I really enjoy the combination. I really like the pacing on this record. I really like the atmosphere on this record. It just has a nice flow to it, and I believe that those are some qualities that, while black metal does not have to do very much in order to accomplish those, sometimes you need something that just makes your band, that makes your act really stand out amongst the crowd uh, in order to have your great album kind of turn into a magnificent one or a good album into a great one, as I have said multiple times throughout the past couple of months. This is one of those 
uh, albums that was great that turned into really great because of the way in which the pacing was done and by the way that the atmosphere was projected. While it may not be the best in their discography, this is certainly an album that will please fans. It will uh, definitely give fans a reason to throw their horns up, bang their heads, praise Satan, and eat some cookies from the dark side because Marduk are fucking back with Serpent Sermon. Enjoy it. Eat it up. And long live black fucking metal. Watain, where's the new album? I can't wait. But for now, Mordok will have to do. And that's not a bad thing at all.